if a person speaks, you need to do that STT or speech to text, send it to the AI. AI gives a response, which is in text. So you had to do text to speech. And that's why companies like, you know, Eleven Labs are doing a great job. So you have like natural sounding voices, even though if the text response from the AI might sound a bit robotic, which we saw in the previous iteration of chatbots, or if you have talked to like any of the automated systems on when you call a 1-800 number or helpline, right? And I think that's where it's going to change. But with conversation relay, if I I know there are companies or these AI companies that are working on like voice models. So you don't even have to deal with the speech to text, text to speech stuff, but conversation relay handles all of that. So it's like an adapter that we built that handles speech to text and text to speech. But also we have partnered with 11 labs and other big partners from like Google and Amazon to support custom voices. It's just an API call that you do. You need a WebSocket server because that's how we connect the AI to the live voice channel. But yeah, basically we handle all of that.